This is the UH-60 Blackhawk, which has served the U.S. Army and the U.S. Air Force for 45 years. Despite its success in operations in Afghanistan and Iraq, the Black Hawk is outdated, and the U.S. Army thinks that it might be inadequate in a possible war against China, where it would be needed to deploy troops and weapons rapidly and in critical environments. This is the V-280 Valor, a tilt rotor produced by Bell. It can go as fast as 300 knots and has a payload capacity of 10,000 pounds. It can carry four crewmen and 14 troops. This would mean that the U.S. could deploy troops and weapon very rapidly in the small islands of the Pacific, which most likely wouldn't have runways, making it impossible for other transport aircraft such as the C-17 and the C-130. The V-280 has won the future vertical lift program, which makes it the future utility helicopter of the U.S. Army. And while Bell says that the V-280 could also be fitted with missiles, loitering weapons, machine guns, and even direct energy systems like laser weapons, the Army wants another helicopter to take over the attack capabilities of the Black Hawk and also later on replace the legendary attack helicopter AH-64 Apache. This is the S-97 Raider, which will very likely be the U.S. Army's next attack helicopter. The S-97, which is produced by Sikorsky, has less payload capacity than its competitor, the V-280. It can also carry less troops, as it can only carry six troops. However, its offensive capabilities exceed farly the ones of the V-280. Thanks to its propeller, the Raider can go as fast as 240 knots and will fit Hellfire missiles. 0.5 caliber machine guns and other high-tech weapons, which will be essential in fighting future threats. However, while the V-280 Valor won the FVL program and will be the Army's utility aircraft for years to come, it's still not sure if the S-97 will replace the Apache as THUS main attack helicopter. The necessity for new helicopters was pointed for two main reasons, mainly because the U.S. roster of helicopter is aging, with most of them having more than 40 years of service. And while the Apache and the Chinook have stood the test of time, the same cannot be said about the Black Hawk. The Black Hawk was introduced in the late 70s and has been considered one of the most unsafe copters to fly in. As of today, more than 390 non-combat incidents have been recorded involving the Black Hawk, which resulted in about a 1,000 killed. Other than its age, the Black Hawk is considered inadequate for the environment of the South Pacific Sea, which is composed by many small islands which would most likely lack a runway and a repair hangar, which would be deadly for the Black Hawk, which needs about six hours of maintenance for every hour of flight. I hope that you liked this video and that you found it informative. If so, leave a like and subscribe.